Welcome to another vlog um, today. Y'all will be joining me again in the gym. By the way, my hair has a hair treatment in it. I have the Olaplex Step 3 because as I said before, this side of my hair, my hat, my hair, it's a little bit loose. It seems like I did get a little bit of heat damage. But anyway, I have to head to the gym. So I decided to just pop them open and go to the gym because later more i think later in the night i usually don't wash my hair at night but i think i will do that or i will just put a knot on my head and in the morning i will wash it out so i didn't have a problem to just pop it open and go to the gym and sweat it out because i still need to wash it again so this is the fit y'all pre pre nike <laughs> So let's go, y'all. I totally enjoy um, bringing y'all along um, um, in the gym. And y'all also seem to be loving it. So let's go to the gym again, y'all. Let's go. Today, I'm going to train my chest area, the back, and also, I think, a little bit of abs. I don't know. We will see, y'all. But let's go. Got the gallery open to ten for you and your friends. You know how I spend in H O U S T O N. I get too crazy, had a little bad enough. We stay good friends, we get too wavy. All I know is that when this cup ends, the next one begins. My babe, you know me, and you know me back then and you know how it goes when i see you again you know i'm making my way to your ends and you know i need you to be there for me you a little post so baby you a little 48 baby i'm a little 
admit it Man, I swear that she can get it Say it, you a bad bitch Put your hands up This is unbelievable. I wish y'all could see how snowy it is outside. You can see like there and also on the cars, but also the tree, it's super snowy, but because it's too dark, you can capture it on the edge of my window. You can see eyes like, oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. By the way, y'all, I never experienced snow, so this is the first time that I ever saw snow like this. And it's it's nice though, I guess, but it's cold, bitch. <laughs> oh wow. Ciao! So guys, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Look, Coco. There. Doing some something. My mom is. Como te llamas aquí? Mom. Because they are too long, so that's what we're doing, y'all. And I'm here just helping her out. And after that, we're going to hang the canvas right there. Ooh. On the wall, finally. So, yeah, that's the final details for the house. So, we'll wait for the house tour. I got my edges back. Look at the best spray. <laughs> 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 hi, hi, Captain. I can hear. Oh, listen to pineapple under the sea. Ah, yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing? I'm measuring this mister. Where's your yes. um yes. level measurements? Pass and uh, water pass. <laughs> In the phone. Here you go. Oh. You're missing this. Hey, no so sophisticated man. So Look, look, look. Look, look. look, good. We are on the right level. Nice. Oh, hang it on us back. Nami, that Look. Right here. With the two sizes. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and the Send in the middle. No, 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 I'm staying in the middle, but it's not level. It's net net. Send So we are using this tape. Double tape. Yes, yeah, a double the um double side tape. <laughs> because my mirror mirror. <laughs> <laughs> my walls are like this and they won't stick if i use just regular tape or whatever if not i will have to do a whole thing in the wall and i don't have the time and also when i have to leave i will have to close all the holes in the wall oh what the fuck so yeah <laughs> Exactamente. <laughs> this is the before y'all. Appreciate it while it lasted, but it's about time to change. Anyway, <laughs> let's change the look. In the room, y'all. Good job, girls. Good job. You're doing a good job. Hey, you're doing a good job. <laughs> no. 
Na mensen, ik heb de dikke schijns. Na mijn tenen, mama, dat is lekker. Ben je toma? Papa, hij heeft nog pega. Hij heeft nog pega. Bam. En nog mensen dat een naam, dat is een. Dat is een meester bing, dat is een aina. Ben je eer, die samen gewoon. Aki banda, een tikkie maas. Het een naam. Puta Julistica! Balanza si mama, si ande? Aha, esta no le hace. Bupinisha! Bupinisha! Puta set! Ay, 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 ay! Vai botar tudo aqui. Certo. Vamos ver. Vamos ver, vamos ver. Vamos ver. Palhaço. Então, não tem que mais fobia passar, tá? A mão para a tem, não? Bia passar. Sende, tortor. Não larga nada por sabu. Família da Brome, que o mundo tá vindo de lastu. Vou comer um vida karma tá para o ardabu. Chupa a bolega de Madrid. Tem bebê come, babo saque me dá me. Inquele essa quele, inquele essa quele, essa quela que chupé. Vira pra mim você. Smack a leg. So, babies, today we are in the kitchen. It's been a while, right? It's been a while. Oh, by the way, my hair is looking kind of cute. Um, I wanted to do a twist out, but I didn't have the patience for them to, you know, um, dry out. So. I busted them open and here we are. It's not really a twist out, but it's very much so much value. But value, volume, cha. But anyway, we are in the kitchen because today I'm going to try to make something new or something that I never tried before, which is repa de arroz. So that's basically rice pancake. And yeah, I don't know. I suddenly want to try it out and also because right now i'm more focused on my um health what i eat and also you know fitness wise you know busting that body some already i want to get all those you know healthy proteins in so repa de arroz will be a perfect thing to eat and consume when you're on your fitness journey so let's try and do this um my mom gave me the recipe but um i didn't want to make it from scratch because then it's too much things that i have to do so in albertine i bought this american pancake mix so yeah we don't have to do much we only have to add milk and then of course we need some oil to fry it and of course the rice and in this case i had rice i had leftover rice most of the time when you do um repa di arroz you use just leftover rice 
and I'm using basmati. I think you can use brown rice, but I think white rice tastes better than brown. And it's a little bit more lighter on your stomach. So let's try and do this. So let me grab the rice. In the fridge, I have a bunch of rice. So yeah, there's so much left over. And also the milk. Oops. Normally I will use oat milk, but because I have to heat it up, I don't like oat milk when it's hot. So I use only biological health milk. I think it's just cow milk. Yes, it's just basically cow milk. So, okay, um, I totally forgot also to mention that you need some cinnamon powder um, for your pancakes. So, and also a bowl and a measuring cup. I'm just using the measuring cup because I'm not going to use the whole mixture. So, yeah, or maybe I should and just save the mixture for tomorrow or later. And then I don't have to keep on making it over and over. But I like some fresh batch. You know what? Let's do the whole mixture. <laughs> Let's be done with it. Then I just need the measuring cups for the milk. Let's open it up. It says on the pack that you can make 11 um, pancakes out of it. So, yeah. Let's do this. Ugh. I think I can make more than 11 out of this thing. Because I think it's too much. But it smells good though. It smells literally like pancakes, but it has like a... I don't know, it has something extra with it. Oh, I just threw the pack away. <laughs> um, hello, girl, we need to follow the instructions. Um, 350 milliliters of milk. And that is probably, I don't know how many, let me see. 350, one cup is 250. So I need 100. let's see <laughs> what we can work with this milk is how much maybe we can use this, the reference this is health leader okay Ciao. anyway <laughs> we're doing our best here so one cup is 250 milliliters and it says that I have to put 350 so Let's fill this whole thing up. Okay. And um, this one is 80 milliliters. So maybe we do it like this. And the rest, I'm just going to eyeball it. Because <laughs> who cares? Who cares? Okay? Nobody cares. And I think just a little bit of this. Yeah. And there we have it. I guess. It's almost a whole pack. But anyway. And uh, let's grab a whisk and whisk everything together. But before that, I think that I fork, I'm just going to mix it first and then grab the whisk. Okay, most probably we need a whisk. <laughs> but the consistency is looking really good, so that's good. It's thick as you want it for a pancake. Let me come close so you can be fascinated. <laughs> mm. Okay. And also if you want, you can just use this um, 
better this mixture and add like fruits for example blueberries strawberries or whatever and make your own pancakes going to add the cinnamon before i add the rice because because it's thick already when i add the rice it's going to become more thick so i'm going to add all these ingredients first by the way never mind the pack because i don't know why i did it open i don't know why i opened it like that i'm just going to eyeball it i think that's more than enough <laughs> Don't judge me, don't judge me. I think I'm going to order some seasoning um, containers from Amazon so I can put this in it because I have more seasoning lay, lay, um, laying around in my kitchen cabinet in these type of sacks and bro, bro, it's a whole mess. And last but not least, we're going to add the rice. Let me just wash my hands. I'm just going to add half of it first and then I'm going to add the other half. did a good thing like it's truly good okay mm. most definitely it messes more cinnamon because it tastes too battery so I'm going to add more snowman in the batch I think I added too much cinnamon but who cares cinnamon tastes good here we go with the second batch I think I'm going to make the portion just like this Yes. Yo, I think I burned that. But let's see. Let's see the other side. <laughs> I burned it. But I'm just going to taste it and see how it tastes. Now. Yeah, I will have to make it from scratch. Okay, so let me turn on the camera on me. So yeah, yeah, it's a failure. It did fail. It doesn't taste even like a pancake. It's too powdery. It tastes straight up like powder. I don't know. It doesn't have a taste, nothing. Even the cinnamon couldn't even overpower it, so that's a sucker i will have to make it from scratch um and use the recipe that my mom sent me instead so later on i think i will go to the supermarket because i do have to go to the supermarket to buy honey um also i think next week i will be doing a um one month update on my fitness journey so i will be um talking about where i buy my outfits 
what I eat, um, exercises that I do, and also, yeah, that, I guess. <laughs> so I think I will be popping um, a Q and A or ask me a um, question or anything on my Instagram. So keep an eye on that if you have some question regarding my fitness or my body journey of one month, if you get any questions or whatever. So you can just ask me so I can answer all of these in the video that I will be uploading regarding all those tips and tricks and everything by far of my one, me one month transformation. So yeah, that's a sucker because I'm really hungry. So yeah, as I was saying though, because I keep talking all over, I want I have to buy honey because um i'm eating this snack it's yogurt honey granola and fruits i love it like i combine it with every different fruits now and um now and there so it's really good so but i ran out of honey so i have to buy honey um i think there's also another thing that i have to buy i oh yeah i have to buy eggs also so yeah we will be running to the supermarket later and just buy everything that we need from scratch to make this repa de arroz again we're going to try it again so yes y'all that's the update for today um i have to meet up with my mom and my sister today because my mom was supposed to cook um Bonjikwara, but I don't know if she's going to cook that still. If not, she's going to cook something. So, excuse the noise, y'all. It's my neighbors up there or besides me. I don't know, but yeah. It's a never ending thing. Um, So, yeah, I don't know what she's going to cook, but I think I will be heading there to eat most probably. And also, I want to go to the gym before I go so yeah i'm going to check up with them right now what they're going to do because i really want to go to the gym today so because i didn't go yesterday because i was there i have i did a pedicure my sister get did a pedicure for me um so yeah and also i think this week i'm not i'm don't know yet because i have to check with my nail tag i'm going to do also my nails a new fresh set of nails because it's about time so yes y'all that's the update for now i'll talk to y'all later either by when i'm at my mom or when i'm at the gym most probably or tomorrow who knows we will see okay so it's been a few days um i didn't record when i went to my mom because i didn't go anymore um what else also i think last week i didn't go to the gym at the end so yeah but i started this week really good today is this day so the day that this vlog is going to be up <laughs> but yes child let's get to the point um there's something really important that i want to share with y'all um i know i'm going to get so much um people that's going to be charging me by my decision but let me make it clear this is my life it's not yours it's my own decisions and I've been battling this thing for a while. It's quite a dilemma that I've been fighting because I wanted to please my family and deep down knowing that I'm not pleasing myself and also I'm not comfortable with it. So it took me one year but it's enough. It's been draining me so badly besides everything that's happening with me at the moment so that's the main thing that's draining me and stopping me for being also consistent on my platforms and pursuing what i truly love which is my career and being a content creator i know it's not easy being a content creator it takes so much time and effort but it's what i love and I have so much passion for it so point blank period i decided to just drop out of school 
So yes, I'm a dropout, finally. <laughs> finally, I've been talking about this in so many of my videos. I also put a video up, I think it was last year, explaining this dilemma um, that I'm struggling in school with my career and it's stressing me out. So I was thinking about dropping out of school and just pursuing my career, but I decided to just drag along with it. Also, at the end, I didn't get no internship. So I kind of missed like a half year of school. And my mentor told me that I will have to um, get it done in the in next year. So that's another year extra. So I'm like, you know, I'm at this point that I'm not going to even stress about this school thing anymore and just focus on what I truly love. And also I feel like God has been pushing me. He's been pushing me to the limit to just never mind that and just pursue your career. I know so many of y'all will be like, but girl, how does God want you to um, drop out of school and pursue something? Because he has a plan for me and he knows that going to school where he's, will disturb me from getting where he wants to get me. So, yeah school is not in my planning i don't know if i will be attending school the next year or whatever but that's that's for another time but for now i don't want to be stressed about school anymore and also if i choose to go to school at the end of the day you know then most probably i will be changing of um i will follow another course instead of the one that i'm doing right now which is international business it's not literally it's nothing that i expected it to be because i did international business in communication and management in curacao and it was so much fun and it was fully english i also applied for this course here in the netherlands supposedly it was an english course but it's more dutch than english and i prefer my english course so that was also a bummer um and um, i don't think that they also focus mainly on business as they focused on business as i was in curacao so it wasn't the same that i did in curacao i expect the same i expect like i will be getting the same um classes the same subjects or whatever but that wasn't the case so it was very disappointed, but I tried to just go with it. But yeah, it's the time to just say goodbye and start fresh and focus mainly on my career, which I love and do with all my heart. So yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. Let's get it clear. School is not for everybody at all. Um... I'm not going to encourage nobody to take the same steps as I took. But if you feel like school is training you emotionally and mentally and it's frustrating you, if you feel like it's not for you and you're just doing it just to please your family and friends, choose you instead of them. Because they are not living your life. You have to live your own life. They are not going to sit in the class with you and hold your hands and tell you, yes, I'm going to make your exam for you. You have to sacrifice that for yourself and struggle with it and make it happen so you can please them. But are you truly pleasing yourself? Are you tru truly um, pursuing what you truly love? If the answer is no to all of these questions, then you most definitely have to just never mind the shit and just go for what you truly want. Also, I know school is not... Um, I see school as something more like let's make money because of course there are some important courses for example if you want to be a doctor or a dentist or something in the medical area or law like those type of things then most definitely you will have to um, follow a course because it's important to know those important factors of your future job. But if you're pursuing, for example, like me, international business, you can just search a courses online and just follow it easily. You can just connect with so many 
entrepreneurs and gain all the knowledge that you need to gain to be um, fully aware of all those things in business. And for example, in my case, I know I wanted to do international business because I wanted something to do, I wanted to do something as in being an entrepreneur, but officially I'm already an entrepreneur. Being a content creator is being a freelancer. So I'm making money out of it already. I'm being an entrepreneur. This is my own mini business, which is going to be fulfilled and going to be big one day in the name of Jesus. Amen. So why am I still pursuing this? I know so many of um, my families and friends were not get quite the vision that I'm seeing right now because they are not in my um, they are not in my shoes at the moment. But make it make sense. If it's not something that I'm desiring, if it's not something that I'm enjoying, I'm just doing it. Just following the path that everybody has been following for years and it just please my family and friends why am i doing it this is my life it's my choice and i get to um and i get to choose how i live my own life so i'm not ju just going to live my life based on other opinions or view of life like that's your view and i have another point of view okay so if you also feel stuck and you've been struggling this take that step and let god guide you with the rest pursue what you truly love at least try to have a plan or let god guide you because sometimes people don't even have a plan and they just decide to just fuck it i'm just going to never mind this shit and i don't know where i'm going to land and god has a plan for each one of us on this earth so he will guide you and get you in the right um, path to pursue what you truly love or what you truly didn't find yet that it's your passion. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. If you want to just drop out of school, do it. Do it. This is your life. It's not others' life. They are not living your life. They don't know what you're struggling with. You know how many days I've been crying on my bed because I know that I don't want to do this anymore. But I try to just keep, keep and keep on going just to please others. And I wasn't pleasing myself. I wasn't happy. Nah, I'm not the one to just go along with others and just follow the same paths as others. No, I have my own path in this life and I'm going to let God keep guiding me through my own path. And going to school is not part of it anymore. This is a new beginning. Of course, right now I'm like, okay, so where do we go from here? But I know I'm just doing something that I truly love, something that I truly enjoy doing it, which is being a content creator. This is my small business. Thank you to all of y'all that's been following me and interacting with me, being um, part of the Coco fam and also growing and growing and growing day by day. I'm so thankful for each one of y'all because we are getting there. And also I'm getting closer and closer when I want to get in life. So, yes, y'all. This was it for this vlog. I'll see you next week. No, in the past with Coco, because I'm going to make sure that we're going to get a new episode this week. Right now, I don't have school, so I can be more consistent, etc. And also, I have new things coming up. I'm preparing so much things. My mind has been running since I took this decision. I have so many things planned out, and I have to just map everything out and... Uh, start with them so be prepared because we're going to make such a big improve on this platform okay so thank you so much for each one of y'all i truly love each one of y'all that's watching and supporting me because y'all are making me grow day by day so besitos 
and I'll talk to y'all. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday, yo. Baby, I love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway, on this runway.